Hey, Dashwood Rock. Uh, a little hike with my dad near his house. Never been back here before, so this is kind of cool. I think I found a place where I can hide, do a little scouting right now for a future uh, overnighter. This is cool. My father lives about a half mile. We drove about a half mile to get back here. And uh, here's a pretty wide brook. I mean, it's kind of stagnant and not really running, but there's quite a bit of water in it. And uh, we'll get back to you on this find. So I think I'm going to come back here and do a little uh, scouting around and find a little private spot where nobody will find me. This is, I mean, this would be a nice little spot. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't have a fire right here, but if they're in here for a wheel and this is where they come. Yeah, I don't want them to find me. Hey. So yeah, I'd like to like kind of like just cut off into the woods somewhere and do do like a little s stealth camping. See, I don't know. I don't know what's on that side. I can't get over there. It's that guy's fields out there where the horses was. And stuff. So you don't know how far it goes on the other side of this brook? No, I have no, I have no idea where they go. That's the trail. Yeah, I'd cut off into the woods, do a little bushwhacking, find a nice little private area. I can, back that way I can show you. Yeah, let's go back that way and see what we got. This would be a nice little camp spot, but like you said, this is where all these guys come, right? Yeah, they, they burn in that barrel. <laughs> what, what you got there, Dad? A little picker-upper, <laughs> little J.B. Scotch <laughs> for the woods. So we're not, so we're not in a survival situation then, huh? A what kind of situation? No, no survival. We're not, we're not uh, in any danger back here. No. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a neat spot. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't mind building a little makeshift shelter back here somewhere off the beaten trail. I think we got one the other way. I'll show you. All right, we'll take a look at that when we get there. Yeah, so I'd like to walk this someday and see if we can get the kayaks back here. So I've been looking to, for a place to uh, stealth camp all over this county, and it's right in your backyard. Yeah, there's a lot of territory here. A lot of what? A lot of country here. Bigger than you think. So, and we haven't been the other way. Yeah, I'm coming here uh, as soon as I can. Next visit. Hey, you got Monday up. Next weekend, three day weekend. Woohoo! Don't be quiet. All right, cool. Yeah, I like to come out here and just like cook up some coffee or something. A little hike, a little exercise. Maybe hang the old rope hammock. The rope hammock. You gotta love the rope hammock. When are you gonna break down and buy a regular hammock? I don't know, it's kind of my thing now, the rope hammock. It's kind of like my... Uh, I'm tempted to get one. But it's I like my know. trademark. You gotta look at that story. I don't know if you have it. Well, I'm into the uh, Linville Gourd site and the hammock form site, but I really even don't go on that very much because uh, I'm watching too many YouTube videos. Oh my god, that's how I got into him. I got enough, I don't know how to get to yours again though. You mean Mr. Riprock too? Yeah, I forgot. Everything was on my other computer and it's all dead. So I've, I'm, I've kind of like lost everything. No wonder I only have 60 subscribers. My own dad doesn't watch my channel. Well, I will. Help me, I gotta <laughs> redo the whole thing again. <laughs> that's funny. It's like up numbers on your cell phone. You lose them all. You don't know. You don't know what they are. <laughs> They're programmed on your cell phone. So I had all these sites on my. And I lost them all. Make sure you're falling. 
<laughs> if I step on that rock, I am going to. So I haven't, uh, I've talked about my, uh, about our camp in the Adirondacks a little bit. And no one's seen the pictures of that. What do you think of our camp in the Adirondacks? There's nothing compares to it. Nothing compares to it. Nope. I've been all over. Like the... There's some nice places in the western part of the state. There's nice places in Colorado, but nothing like the Adirondacks. And the way we set that camp up too, right? My camp? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. My camp. I just found I like uh, that. I just found uh, pictures of when we first bought it. Nothing but particle board and where you know, things were located. Now it's like all knotty pine and and just the location of it. It's out on the pond there. Pretty remote. Very remote. I was there for the month of August. And never saw a person month of August. I haven't been there in four years. Well, I mean, uh, nobody, I didn't see anybody in there. I had to go to the local uh, watering hole every three or four days and <laughs> conversation with somebody. Well, remember, we've gone in there in the middle of winter. Snowshoe in, pull a toboggan, sit in there, nothing like a big snowstorm and 20 below and you got the fire going. And you got that right. Maybe a cocktail or two. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, we, I miss it up there. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm, I got a week in April, and we're gonna meet up there in November. That'd be neat. I can get Jeff to come. A couple other guys. Bob, Bob's there all the time. Right? Can't wait. See, I'd like to camp right along this little brook somewhere, just because of the running water. I don't know where you, anywhere you can. There's one more back this way, but it's half the size of this. Well, this is pretty small as it is. Pause for the cause, yes. God. <laughs> Cheers. Salute, Dad. So you got a deer this year, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, How'd that go down? Bang. <laughs> One shot. Never took a deer never knew what hit it. I was really proud of that. Never took a Dropped right in the spot and I shot it right in the neck at about 80 yards. Yeah, that's very tasty deer. Yeah, well, we've already had uh, yes. we've already had one meal with it. What was that? What'd you cook up that night? That was a backstrap. Had the backstrap. That was good. Which is right similar to a tenderloin. Yeah. Wow, that was really good. Tender. Oh my God. Yeah, but those deer, those deer in the southern zone, they're, they're all, you know, grain-fed, cornfields, etc. Deer in the north country, totally different. They don't have any fields or corn, and uh, they're a much different taste. 
some people say gamey. I got your gamey. All right, well, that was a pleasurable little walk there. So we're